so many people now we're all kind of struggling with different aspects of um, heightened fears, heightened emotions, um, challenges with unemployment, um, fear of sickness, you know, the Buddha really boiled it down when he said, you know, there's these four things that when he left the palace, he, he noticed, you know, birth, sickness, old age, and death, right? And before he left the palace, he had been shielded from those four things. And when he saw those four things he he realized that suffering was inherent in our life and so he set about on his path and and the dharma was born or his version of the dharma was born and and is helping us so in a way this this situation that we're in is not really different from what we're always faced with we're always faced with these things that our outside situation is always changing 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 and what we want to do as human beings, and it's our nature, is to hold on and, and not have things change. And when we do that, that's when we suffer. So where the practice comes in and where I found it to be most, you know, useful and constructive is, as Mark was saying, you know, coming back to this present moment where the way he put it, what can I do? Another way you can put it is, what is this, right? So when you're feeling anything, whether it's fear of change, fear of, you know, job loss, fear of getting sick or fear of losing someone who could be getting sick, you know, we come back to what can I do? As Mark was saying, and that is return to what is true, right? The future's not here. The past is gone. All we have is this one thing, which is true, which is what are you doing now? then just do it. And it's the single most empowering teaching and tool that I've ever come across in my life. And it levels um, illusion. It brings you back into what is true. So I remember you from Buddha Buddy days and um, you already know this. You lived in the Zen Center, you practiced this. And so, you know, what we do as all of our little uh, people in the squares of Buddha Buddies, what we're here for is just to, to keep reminding each other because sometimes we forget, you know, sometimes we get stuck um, in whatever emotion or mind state that we're in and we have one another to remind us and we have the teaching to remind us and say, what are you doing now? And we're like, oh, right. What am I doing now? Just sitting here talking to you. And when you keep this mind, you know, over and over and over and return to it as much as possible, Somehow or another, things have a way of working out. I, I don't know how that works, but they do. Somehow or another, you know, your mind becomes clear, your choices become clear, your direction becomes clear, and then life becomes clear. So we say, if this moment is clear, your life is clear. And then anything that comes, you'll be clear enough to, to perceive that and go with it, right? But if we get trapped in the what if scenarios, then we, we get stuck and we get frozen and things don't work out. So I'm just reminding you and I know the day will come when you'll remind me and that's what we're here doing together. What are you doing now? 